building your portfolio. In the intro to investing video, we discuss the difference between short-term and long-term goals and the difference between saving and investing. If you didn't get to watch that video, we encourage you to watch it before continuing. In this video, we'll be discussing setting your investment goals, choosing an investment strategy, and basic research tips to build your portfolio. Pull out your list of long-term financial goals that you created during the Intro to Investing video, and let's begin. Investing goals may include investing for a life event, like college, a wedding, or purchasing a home, retirement, generating income, or wealth preservation, trying to hedge against inflation. It's important to choose the right investment strategy to align with your goals. An investment strategy is a plan designed to help you achieve your investment goals. Strategies depend on factors including risk tolerance and your values, such as sustainable investing. Risk tolerance is the measure of how much of a loss you are willing to take on within your portfolio. A person's age, income, and comfort level all play into determining their risk tolerance. For example, a person in their 20s might have a higher risk tolerance than a person in their 50s when building a retirement portfolio, since the younger individual has more time to recoup possible investment losses before reaching their goal of retirement. We will be discussing risk tolerance in more detail in the Assessing Risk video. Aligning your investments with your personal values may also factor into your investment strategy. Sustainable investing is a term for investments that seek both positive financial returns and a positive long-term impact on our society. We will be reviewing a list of new day sustainable investments to choose from later in the video. Now on to research tips. Let's dive into some tips for researching stocks on Yahoo Finance and in your own trading portfolio. You can navigate to this website by typing in finance.yahoo.com into your web browser. A great place to start is hovering over markets and clicking on stock gainers or stock losers. You can sort the chart by clicking one of the top columns. Another way to do your research is by industry. Next to personal finance, click the three dots and you can go straight to the tech industry or you can click industries. Now you can complete a stock screener. Delete the first column and add in any sector you're interested in. Let's say I'm interested in the technology sector and I can even sort by industry. So if I'm interested in consumer electronics and information technology services, I can put that in. We currently have stocks that are traded on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So you can leave that and click Find Stocks. NASDAQ, CNBC, and Google Finance are some other websites that can assist you with your research. Another great asset for research is the News Feed tab in your trading portfolio. The portfolio is provided with a direct CNBC News Feed, which helps you stay on top of current market news and provide investment ideas. If your team is interested in sustainable investing, hover over resources and click New Day Sustainable Stocks or navigate to the Enter a Trade page to see their list of 100 companies. Select a company from the list and navigate to their sustainability website to learn more. Question to consider. What is your investment goal? How would you describe your investment strategy? Thank you for watching.